So then guys, there could be the potential. We could be seeing three new MacBooks at WWDC 2023. That's right, you heard me right. There could be three new MacBooks. So today I'm gonna to cover how this could be possible in one scenario and also the likelihood of what MacBooks we're going to see released at WWDC 2023. The first MacBook is the brand new 15 inch MacBook Air. We've heard for a while now that Apple are creating a 15 inch MacBook Air and this is a complete first. The overall design will be very similar to the 13 inch MacBook Air that we have right now, but just basically a little bit larger. We'll get the same sort of features of just a standard MagSafe and two USB-C ports or Thunderbolt 4 ports inside that. And also at the same time, the actual overall design Design will be very similar, colors and everything like that will just work exactly the same. Don't expect anything like ProMotion inside this MacBook Air, but just basically imagine a larger version of the current 13 inch MacBook Air that we have right now. A good way of thinking of this is like the 14 inch MacBook Pro that we have right here and the 16 inch MacBook Pro. They are essentially the same design language, just the 16 inch version is just practically a larger version of the 14 inch model that we have. And Apple have been doing this for years now. For example, we have this with the iPhone. Take the iPhone 14 range, for example. With the iPhone 14 and the 14 Plus, they're basically the same design and the same with the 14 Pro and also the 14 Pro Max. Again, they are essentially the same design, same features, maybe just a larger battery, but both of them kind of operate exactly the same way. So expect this from the MacBook Air. But the biggest question what you guys want to know is what will be powering this MacBook Air at WWDC? If we rewind the clocks back literally just a year ago to June 2022, the M2 chipset got announced and we got that inside the MacBook Pro and also this brand new design 13 inch MacBook Air. It does look like looking at lots of reports here that the M3 production is taking a little while longer than originally thought and also at the same time a lot of other leakers out there like Minchi Kuo as you can see here is saying that the M3 is coming but it will be later on this year. These reports do seem very very likely that it could happen but there is a possibility we could still see the M3 chipset but most likely it will be this normal M2 chipset that we will be getting inside the larger 15 inch MacBook Air and also as you can see here from another report from Ming-Chi Kuo and that is that we will not be getting an M2 Pro chipset put inside this MacBook either. But let's talk a little bit more about that M2 Pro chipset but just before I do that Pulseway is a monitoring and management platform that centralizes all your system and allows you to work from anywhere. Whether you're running errands or let's say you're late for a meeting or even just going out for a walk, you can rely on Pulseway. It allows you to monitor your networks and systems, manage your tickets, respond to issues and secure every endpoint with customizable patch management policies. So now's the time to take that vacation that you've been dreaming of. Get a trial with Pulseway right now and also get their free app too and everything that you need, including the link, is in the description. So, back to the M2 Pro chipset. So this chipset might not be featuring inside the larger MacBook Air, but there is the possibility that the M2 Pro chipset could be inside the 13 inch MacBook Pro. I'm talking about that touch bar design MacBook Pro that we've had out for many years now. And because we're not getting that new M3 chipset right now, it is possible that Apple will actually be equipping the M2 Pro inside this touch body design MacBook Pro that we have right now. So I to have it as sort of an interim sort of phase. Obviously we do have the M2 Pro in the 14 inch and also the 16 inch MacBook Pros but it could be put inside this and it could also be at a far lower price than what we have with say the 14 inch MacBook Pro and for a lot of people out there this could be really really cool. However, there is another scenario with the MacBook Pro 13 inch. We could actually be getting a brand new design MacBook Pro 13 inch, similar to these renders that you're seeing here. What this essentially would have is basically the MagSafe port and also probably the HDMI and SD card slot, but probably only say two USB-C ports. 
Also, at the same time, we probably wouldn't get a pro motion display. It'd be a very similar display to what we have with the 13 inch MacBook Air right now, but also we could also possibly see, say, a 90 hertz display. We just don't know. There hasn't actually been that many leaks or rumors of a redesigned MacBook Pro, but to be fair, it does need to happen. We've had this MacBook Pro design since 2016, and we're in 2023 now, so this design needs to be scrapped off the touch bar, and we do need a brand new design for this MacBook Pro. Again, there could also be another scenario where we could get this updated design MacBook Pro 13 inch and Apple may offer the M2 and the M2 Pro inside it, what would be really, really cool. But in my opinion, I think that's a little too far and a bit too much wishful thinking. But more likely is either we're gonna get an M2 Pro put inside the current MacBook Pro or what could possibly happen is that we will get a redesigned MacBook Pro with just the M2 chipset that we got last year. But then there is the whole new situation what could happen and that is that all of these leaks and reports about the M3 chipset could be completely wrong and the M3 is coming at WWDC 2023. And if this does happen, this does mean basically that we would see updates of the M3 chipset in this MacBook Pro, possibly the one with the touch bar or even a new design one. Also, we could be getting the M3 chipset put inside the 13 inch MacBook Air already now and also the 15 inch MacBook Air would also get released with the M3 chipset inside it too. What would be absolutely amazing. But personally, in my opinion, I think this is probably going to be the most unlikely scenario of all. Like I said, there's been so many leaks and rumors saying that the M3 has been pushed back. And personally, I do believe it probably is the case that we will not be seeing the M3 until later on this year. Also the fact that, for example, the M2 journey has not been finished. We haven't got a device yet with the M2 Ultra inside it. And I'm sure Apple want to release this most likely in the Mac Pro or at least announce the Mac Pro at WWDC and maybe release that Mac Pro later on into 2023 with the M2 Ultra before they start even going down the M3 journey. So then guys, those are my thoughts of what could be happening at WWDC 2023. We could be seeing three new MacBooks. We could just be seeing just one new MacBook, that 15 inch MacBook Air. But I would love to know your thoughts. And in doing that as well, guys, remember that if you leave a comment here, you can also enter into the giveaway too, what I have explained in other videos. So do check out my other videos to get more information on that. But on that note, guys, make sure if you have enjoyed watching this video to like this video and also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.